everybody, it's Lou Collins and today I want to talk you through the Vintage Travel camera layering die set. Um, I'm going to be making this card here for you. Um, so a really pretty little easel card with the camera shaped onto the front. And then I'm also going to show you how some other elements of the die set work because I know some people have purchased this and um, they're a bit confused as to what goes with what. So this is a camera die set that will allow you to create lots of different styles of camera. So um, let's have a look at just a couple of those now. So we're going to start with the Textures Vintage Travel Camera Layering Die Set. So this is my own die set that I've created as part of the Vintage Travel Collection. Um, and I love it because the idea is it's not to build up one type of camera. This is actually going to build up for you lots and lots of different styles of cameras. And we can see here just some of the cards that I've already made with this one die set. So you can see we've got um, some really old vintage cameras in here. We've got some that have more sort of from the 80s. And you could even go with Polaroid cameras with this if you wanted to. So I'm going to work with a white card base here, but we need to cut it down to size and we need to score into it. So this is just, um, an, I think it's called an adaptables card base. So there isn't a score line in it at the moment. If I was to fold this just in half, it would be a six by six. So I'm going to take my main, what I'd call the main die here, the main camera shape, and just lay that just on the card base so I can get the width for this at the moment. Now, I prefer not to mark my cardstock with a pencil. I prefer to use a scoring tool. So I'm just going to put a line with a pokey tool there. Let's move this out of the way and bring in my paper trimmer. And I'm going to trim this whole card base down to the width of that one particular die because I want this to be so that the whole card is the same width as the die there so I can I'm not going to throw this away it's a nice smooth card stop and I could use that for stamping sentiments on for example so I'm just going to put that to the side and trim it to the side and bring in my scoreboard now I've got a really big scoreboard but again I'm going to bring my camera back in my camera die and I'm going to score a line so that the first panel on this card base is the same width or the same height as the main part of the camera die, excluding these parts here. So I'm going to score down here. So that's two and a half inches on here. And then I'm going to do, well, another two and a half inches would be five. So I can do that. I'm just going to use my bone folder to fold these. Well, just to strengthen those creases fold this over and then it's up to you how long you want this section to be so I don't want it to be too long certainly not as long as it is here so I think I will bring this down to kind of uh, from the last score line three and a half inches and I'm going to trim off this excess piece here um, you could also fold it over and just glue it on there so that just makes it even stronger so now let's make up our camera so we've got the main die so we're going to cut that and I'm going to cut this from this kind of um, it's almost a grey it's an off-white colour so it's not quite a cream because it's not warm enough for that so I'm going to cut that from there. Then I'm going to bring in some other colours. So that would be a dusky pink and a kind of uh, a light brown colour, almost a craft colour. Now we've got on the die set lots and lots of elements here. So we've got borders, we've got parts that will be like for the lenses, we've got parts for the dials and things like that. So you can really play around with what you use where so for this one i'm not going to make it really dimensional i'm actually going to make it quite flat and i'm going to use this part which will sit just there i'm also going to cut that i think from the same color cardstock so let's just cut a panel of that ready so i like to lay out all my dies with the cardstock so i can see what i'm cutting and then i think i'm going to cut these two frames now this frame goes around there and then this frame sits inside the camera there and I'm going to cut both of these from the pale brown cardstock so just pop those like so there we go so I've got those um, what I'm also going to do is cut a nice panel of the dusky pink 
so that's going to be this and that's going to be from this rectangle but I'm going to use the outer or rather the inner the excess from that so I'll do that in a little while as well and then I've got things like the dials now this piece I think I will also cut I can probably fit it onto that square panel there and then we've got all of the other elements so I can cut out I don't need the circle uh, or these lens pieces either because that makes a different type of camera I will show you these at the end just to show you how they go together so I'm going to get those cut out now so now all my pieces are cut out I'm going to take this pink panel and this came from the center of this rectangle here and I'm going to use my scoring board just to add some interest into this so just taking the scoreboard and adding in score lines all the way along there we go and when you turn that over you can see you've got that lovely kind of corrugated look and i really like that for this panel on the on the camera so popping that away and i'm going to bring in a blending mat now this is an old blending mat so it's got some ink and paint on it but i'm going to just blend a little bit of color into these i'm going to start with a tattered rose distress oxide and if i think it needs to be a little bit darker particularly uh, on the pink panel i might bring in a brown so that would be gathered twigs So just a little bit of inking around those and now I'm going to start gluing those together before I add any more embe embellishments on. So the first one's going to be the scored rectangle and I put a little bit of gathered twigs ink around this and over all of those score lines. Now this is going to cover up the aperture inside the camera and that's fine because I'm not worried about this on this particular one but this is the idea that you have the option to use that aperture and just with this over the top so you can see through maybe you can put a photo in there if you want to then I'm going to in fact I'm going to switch and put the fine tip nozzle on this glue bottle and I've tried to put a little bit of brown ink around the edge of this but it's very difficult because it's such a fine piece And that's going to go just around the edge of that corrugated pink cardstock. Now, if you remember, that's actually come out of the centre of this die cut. So, of course, it just fits back in perfectly, even though we've scored it. Then I'm going to lay down this part. Now, this part's actually scored. It's got a score line around the edge. And then we've got the word here, Explorer embossed into it as well it's probably a little bit harder to see on the camera there but that is there now if we wanted to what we could do in fact I might lift that up and just do that now is take a darker color I believe I've got a darker gray cardstock here or even a black might work I've got a black here so I've got lots and lots of pieces from where I've done all these die cuts I always keep the circles that come out of everything um, really for this reason so we can pop some a dark color back in there and then we've got the black inside the lens but like I say you can keep that lens open if you wanted to let's turn that around the right way there we go now just to add another layer to that I'm going to put the brown rectangle around the edge of the lens just sit that over the top like so so you can start to see our camera coming together and then we've got there's a button there we're going to add some more embellishments to these in a moment and then this piece i'm actually also going to score this piece let me just grab my scoreboard i'm going to get the little one and what i'm going to do is add little score lines along this let's do it with this end coming out from the circle so they kind of need to fan out so it's not going to be that they're all perfectly parallel but it's just running as if this is a bit of a dial here and I'll show you the effect in a moment it's up to you whether you use the emboss or the deboss of your score lines there we go so if I turn that over 
hopefully you can see we've got some lines on there and I'll just bring my brown ink back in and ink that side instead. I'm not sure actually I quite like the I quite like the emboss side so I think I might use that and that's going to go over the top here just over we've got that black circle and you can put that dial in any position you want it to be so we've got our little camera there already now I'm just going to grab some pearls and embellishments to start adding to this a little bit more so I've just added a little bit of bling around the edges there so the inside of the lens and the outside of the frame that's come from this sort of diamante sheet that has adhesive backing um, now this I don't know if you can still get it if it's still available used to be years ago available on Create and Craft so I'm not sure even what they called them I've got stacks and stacks of them but you can basically cut them into strips into squares whatever you want to and it's all adhesive when you take the paper off and then I'm going to use some water drop droplets or drop beads or whatever you like to call them glass beads these ones particularly came from a paper craft society box but I thought do you know what these are going to work really well for um, in the lens there so a little bit of just wet glue there and that glue will dry clear it this is the cosmic shimmer um, doo -doo -doo, yeah cosmic shimmer glue from creative expressions so just pop that little bead in there and as that dries like I say that will dry nice and clear and then if we want to we could put some more beads along there but I'm gonna wait first and see whether it needs anything more before I do those so pop those off to the side so this is going to sit really nicely on there and I'm going to leave that white frame so it stands out in fact I'm actually going to attach that with some foam tape and that way that will really sort of um, pick out the dimension because I've just glued the beads on I don't want to be turning this over to put the foam tape on so I'm going to put it directly onto my card base and just snip and one more there so this is going to lift that camera up a little bit on the easel card make it really stand out and take this this is craft stash foam tape i love it i just love how quickly and easily it comes away from the backing it's really inexpensive as well so there's the camera on the easel so far and of course you can go anywhere you like with this now once you've got that basic down um, i'm going to pop a pattern paper on the base there i really like this one now i believe this is from stamperia and i think that that brown there works actually works really well so i'm just going to cut a panel that fits i really like that stitching actually so i think i'll put the stitching um, along the bottom i love to add real stitching to my cards but I don't have my sewing machine to hand today and again just using my pokey tool to mark where I'm going to cut or trim so that way I don't have my pencil lines to worry about bring this in the only trouble with that is you do need to be careful if it's a pattern paper like this of being able to actually see where you're going to cut so I can see I've got one line there and then I should have another one there so just little fold will help you determine where they are. Just popping that over the edge of the trimmer there, making sure that I get that in exactly the right place. And then again, I've got my fold line so I can see quite clearly where that needs to go. And popping that. So, so this should now fit quite nicely. In, on the base there I might just add a little bit of brown ink around that and all that's going to do is um, really just highlight the edges so that they stand out so sometimes just a little bit of a darker color around the edge of any sort of layers like this can especially against a white can really make them stand out so bring that back into my card base now hopefully you can see that really pops a little bit more. I'm just going to put wet glue around here and pop that again. I'm leaving that white board, so that nice, fresh, crisp, clean white border on there. Now we're going to need a stopper, first of all. So I'm going to use a few flowers, but really only just a few flowers, not many at all. Um, I could put, I might actually put a couple of flowers at the top here, so I'm going to choose those first. I've got a leaf 
So I think a leaf poking out. So I've put that between the, the actual camera and the base of the card. And I'm just positioning at the moment because I'm not sure whether I'm going to stick with that there. I would prefer to do things in threes. So I'd rather do a, two flowers and a leaf, for example. I think that would work with those three there. And then I will echo that cluster down on this bottom corner here where that's going to be a stopper for the card so the easel cards can stand up. So I'm going to glue these ones first and then I'll uh, experiment with these ones afterwards. And I'm going to use a hot glue. So that's standing up quite nicely now. Lovely. So all we need now is um, a sentiment just to pop on here I think so I'm going to stamp that in black or a charcoal color that's going to match this lens and onto white cardstock to bring in the white from um, around the edge of the card so from turning the camera off and um, doing my sentiment here which is the black on white as I said I've had a little bit of a change of mind and I've decided to replace that gray that was in here the charcoal black um, with some pattern paper and this came again from that Stamperia paper and I just cut it using the uh, lens die there and I've used the circle that's fallen out of it. It just fits in there and I think it's not quite as harsh. I'm going to pop a doily just on the edge here. So I actually need to glue this down and then trim it. And the reason being is I'm now not going to put my sentiment on the base as I was before. I've decided to bring my sentiment up instead to um, near that lens where I've just replaced the circle. Uh, I just decided, I've just, just had a change of mind. Uh, of course, as a crafter, we're okay to change our mind as many times as we like. But I just felt like I then needed something else on the edge of the card base here or down the bottom of the card base here a little bit of interest if I'm not going to be putting the sentiment so trim this down there press that down all that glue that I've just put on there and just wrap that over the edge so it's a nice neat finish trim off that piece there there we go and now my sentiment instead is going to go across the top here so I can now put that on with a foam tape rather than with um, my wet glue which I would have used before so make this stand out nicely I'm just using a black foam tape because it's a black sentiment and I'm not going to put it directly across the middle I'm going to offset it slightly so we've got now got this line of interest between the flowers at the top, the sentiment and the flowers at the bottom. And that's the way your eye will be guided. And of course, just here, uh, that doily, it just adds a little bit of something extra there. Okay, so I think that's that card done. So of course, this card will lay flat. There's a couple of different ways you can lay it. You could even fold that and make it really quite small to pop into an envelope. Um, but otherwise, you open it up and you've got your easel card that will stand on its own, looking really pretty. And you've got your stopper for the card with the flowers. And of course, you can write your message inside there. Now, I did say to you about with the Vintage Travel camera die set, the layering die set, the idea is you can layer all the pieces up in different ways, as I showed you at the beginning, some of the examples, um, to get different looks. And of course, then your colours as well, they give you different looks. Um, but one element that people find a little confusing with it, it are these parts. And I just wanted to show you those cut out and glue them on just so you can see how they would work if you were putting that together. So they are the two metal die pieces like so. These and um, they are they have score lines in them already. Now I have a preference with these to score them a little bit differently. I've got some here somewhere. So there's four that are already cut out. I've got two of each of the two shapes. Now I've, um, instead of folding over every single score line, I've actually folded every other. So I've then got my concertina folds a little bit bigger and then I have my tab at the end of each section as well. Now it's entirely up to you whether you want to score on every line 
or every other but by doing this what we can then do is bring in our lens so this is the one that's got the explorer 200 embossed into it so hopefully you can just see that more on the mirror card than we did on the ivory color frame and we're actually going to um, place these on each of the four corners so just with i'm using hot glue this is my preference for putting this part of the camera together because with a hot glue of course it holds almost instantly and you haven't got to worry about sitting around and holding any elements i'm doing one at a time So just a little bit of hot glue. Make sure if, you've, if you're using a hot glue gun that you've got a reasonably fine nib on your hot glue gun or nozzle applicator because you don't want too much glue. They're not the biggest tabs in the world. So once you've got the four panels glued onto the side, so I made a mess with the hot glue, but you can pick that off. Um, I'm going to distress this anyway with things like some silver um, gilding wax, so that will be fine. Um, what we need to do now is put this onto a card base. Now this can be absolutely any base you want to. I'm just going to show you onto a panel of cardstock. So rather than actually make a card, I'm just going to show you how this would look. Now this is not intended to be built up alongside the main camera die. Okay, so if I just show you the actual die there, it's not intended to be used with this. And I think this might be where people are getting confused. This is actually made to look like a separate sort of camera um, and you use it on its own. Okay, so once we've got these pieces, all we need to do is work out where the center of ours is and how tall we want these pieces to be. So if you want it to be really quite dimensional, if I just hold that there like that, you can keep these as long as they are. If you prefer them to be shorter, you can cut some of these tabs off. Just make sure if you are trimming them that you are cutting the same amount off each time. So I'm going to say cut just two of the uh, sections off from each one. Just bring it a little bit shorter just to show you. So just ensuring one, two, I'm going to cut that there. One, two and one two and this will just bring that so it's not quite so deep there okay now once you've been gluing and things just again make sure you fold and reinforce these score lines because they are getting jigged about a lot so just ensure they're nice strong creases and now we can work out whereabouts we want our actual uh, lens like the the cut the black cover is the expandable cover um to come to and start gluing those down so i would start with the top and the bottom first of all so again hot glue along the top and the bottom so i'm going to ignore the side pieces and i'm going to worry about where these are going so you may have a, a card base where you have areas that you want these to sit into there we go press them down and now i'm going to add glue to the bottom of these panels and put those in as well just make sure they line up in between the other two that you've just put down so glue on the base here you don't need a lot of glue either i've used a 300 gsm cardstock this is a really good strong cardstock uh, in the black to make sure that this doesn't uh, bend too much or fold or collapse under the weight of all these scores, score lines and everything that you're doing. You want something that's going to hold its own shape. So there we go. Now I've got, like I say, I've got some decorating to do with that. You could put that into an aperture if you wanted to. So it's just the camera lens coming out. You can then go ahead and you can put on things like the, the um, what I'd call like for the settings, the dial that can go on the front. There's lots you can be doing with this now. So that is a separate component to this part. So the idea is, once again, that this camera die set gives you the ability to make lots and lots of different styles of cameras and lenses. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do hit that subscribe button. I have lots of card making tutorials, lots of lettering tutorials, and I'd love for you to come along and see some more. So take care, everybody. Goodbye.